Hello everyone! Today we'll talk about job-specific skills. Job-specific skills are those skills and abilities that allow a candidate for employment to excel his opportunities. Some skills are attained by attending a specific course or a school. Others can be gathered through experience. The skills that are needed for a specific job are also called and known as a skill set. When hiring, employers will usually add a skill set into the job description. And if you want to be a successful candidate, you need to match this description and you need to have as many similarities with the skill set that is in this description as it's possible. Where is my script? Oh yeah, thank you. Okay, so let's continue. Job-specific skills are different depending on the sphere. For example, teachers need good planning skills. Architects need strong CAD skills. Job-specific skills can be contrasted with transferable skills, such as communication, organization, presentation skills, team building, planning, and time management. Transferable skills are skills that are needed almost in any job. Employability skills are those features and traits needed to succeed at work. Hybrid skills are the combination of hard and soft skills required for some particular position. Certain transferable skills will be more valued for some particular jobs. For example, when we talk about consultants, they need strong presentation skills. When we talk about lawyers, they need strong research skills. However, these transferable skills shouldn't be confused with job-related skills or job-specific skills, since they relate to any other sphere. Often, job-specific skills are hard skills, which are easily teachable. Transferable skills are more often soft skills. It means that they relate to your behavior and, uh, in particular, how you interact with other people. How to match your skills to job-specific skills? When applying for a job, have a look at the job description, try to identify the skill set and think which skills you personally have. Make a list of these skills and try to identify how you can prove that you have these skills. Think about work experience that helped you to develop this skill. Include these skills to your resume or your cover letter. For example, if you're applying for a position of an editor, you can even name editing skills section. You can also emphasize these skills on your LinkedIn profile. Also, emphasize job-specific skills in your cover letter. Try to compare keywords that you can see in the set of skills and try to include them into your cover letter. Before a job interview, review your cover letter and CV in order to understand when you use this skill or when you obtain this skill, so that you can answer any job interview question successfully. If you are missing a job-related skill, it doesn't mean that you cannot apply for a job. Instead, you need to think how to develop this skill and think about the strategy. If you need experience in coding, you can take a free online course in coding or you can attend some particular short course. You can then mention this course on your CV and afterwards in your job interview. You can emphasize in your CV that you are a fast learner which will help you create the right impression and it will emphasize your ability to gain new skills easily and quickly. This might help to convince the employer that you can quickly develop a missing skill set. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you like it and subscribe to my channel.